Hello everyone. So, in this lecture, we are going to know the softwares and hardwares which are required for uh, making the video lectures which you can use for online teaching. Uh, for that, uh, there is a list of uh, softwares and there are few hardware items which are required uh, for making the uh, video file. Uh, you know, the softwares are free online and the hardwares are required to be purchased, they are not very costly. So I will uh, tell you about all those things. So uh, coming to the um, softwares, we require a, a screen recording software or a video recording software uh, that uh, we are going to use uh, known as OBS Studio. So this OBS Studio is a free, freely available software which uh, can be used for making videos and which can also be used for recording the screen so that if you teach something using computer that also can be shown to the students. Uh, with OBS Studio, you require uh, a webcam. So a webcam normally if you are using a laptop, uh, most of the laptops are having uh, webcam uh, integrated with it uh, and uh, if suppose the webcam is not integrated or webcam is not functioning well, in that case you can purchase a webcam and webcam is available uh, from uh, 3 to 4 thousand rupees to 7 to 8 thousand rupees you get better one because nowadays in webcam itself you have the mic facility, good mics are there so you don't require further mic from outside. So that webcam is required. Then for teaching, uh, you know, normally we teach uh, either with the use of PowerPoint or we use the blackboard or green board and in many cases we use both. So uh, if we are uh, teaching uh, by uh, PowerPoint mode, then anyway nothing is required. You open the PowerPoint file. Uh, in the OBS itself and uh, you can teach and uh, in between if you have uh, uh, you know to do some rough work in that case you may require a tablet. Now again I am coming to tablet. Why tablet is required because many of us uh, feel comfortable in using the blackboard and uh, that can be uh, you know uh, uh, done by nowadays you can have, uh, you may have a laptop which has the touch facility, you can write on that one only, but it is not required, you can uh, purchase uh, uh, one uh, tablet and this tablet is uh, uh, you know, uh, available nowadays. Uh, uh, I am using one tablet which is uh, known as one vacuum tablet, it is of uh, you know, this type, so it has uh, you know, one, you one jack here, so from here, uh, and the other end will be a USB port, so that will go into the laptop, so it will get the power. And uh, on this, basically, uh, you are uh, going to use the uh, the stylus. So basically, uh, this, uh, uh, this tablet uh, comes with this stylus. So this stylus can be used to write over it. So if you write, that will be, uh, you know, coming on the screen, so that will be very, very clear. So what is required, as I told, we require uh, OBS software, we require uh, one Wacom tablet, and we require one stylus uh, to write on the tablet. Certainly, we uh, require uh, the uh, webcam. Apart from that, uh, we also require, so what happens that when you uh, make the video lectures, normally their size may become very uh, large. Uh, so suppose uh, our screen is this one, this much large, if we make uh, the screen even larger, uh, you know. So depending upon the type of video we make, it may be larger, it may be 100 MB, 200 MB or 300 MB also for uh, maybe that uh, 45 minutes or 50 minutes duration. So, uh, you know, what uh, is required is that when you want to upload it, because uh, sending to students will not be a, a good choice, so we try to upload on channel like YouTube. 
and while uploading anyway that is uh, normally compressed but we can also compress it by the use of uh, certain softwares available which are free so the one of the software which can be used is the uh, software known as handbrake so handbrake is a software which is again available online free and that can be used to compress the video file so without uh, losing the resolution much you can compress the video sometimes you can compress to half its size or even one third of its size or even less depending upon the type of video uh, you know type of format in which you have made the video so these are you know uh, the things uh, which are required for uh, making videos so in this lecture i am uh, going to tell you further that how to uh, you know download these uh, softwares which are available i have told you about the hardware one is uh, tablet another is stylus and one is uh, you know the webcam but apart from that we will talk about the softwares and software is uh, the obs studio and the handbrake obs studio for screen capturing or video capturing and uh, the handbrake is used for compressing so let us uh, see how we can uh, you know use uh, these uh, softwares how can we download it so we will go to uh, our desktop and uh, uh, here we will open our browser so that is chrome suppose we have chrome we have open we have uh, open the google and on google you search uh, obs studio so obs uh, studio if you search uh, uh, it will uh, come here uh, it will be obsproject.com there will be one obsproject.com that site will come you just open it and on that site you have uh, uh, these uh, available like for windows for uh, mac operating system or for linux so if you are using windows you just click on the windows so if you click on the windows automatically on the left hand side if you see here on the left hand side it will start downloading the executable file for the obs studio so it is about 70 mb it will take maybe uh, 10 to 20 uh, seconds so it is downloaded now so you go to the, uh, the folder where it is already downloaded and then uh, from there uh, that file uh, you, you have to click further. So once you click the OBS will uh, be installed in your PC. So once you install in the PC it will ask for uh, normal you know uh, normal questions will be asked like what will be the screen size so uh, and, and uh, you are going to use for uh, uh, web or so optimization required and all that there are many default settings you just go for default ultimately when you uh, uh, install the software the software will come in this format so this is the obs studio you know it is for 64 bit uh, operating system now in this uh, you know uh, uh, OBS Studio, uh, you will have one uh, on, on this side, left hand side in bottom, you have scene, you have sources, you have audio mixer, scene transition and controls. So what you require is, you uh, require to create the scene and in the sources you will be uh, adding the sources like uh, you will be interfacing that uh, uh, webcam here so that you will uh, learn how to uh, do that and uh, then uh, ultimately uh, once you do the setting from here you are going to have the recording start recording so that way it will start recording and then you can uh, use that so that we will uh, learn through the another uh, you know uh, tutorial in that uh, next we are going to uh, uh, further see that how to have the uh, installation of handbrake so again we will go to our uh, uh, google uh, you know uh, site and uh, we will search for the software handbrake so we will uh, type uh, handbrake uh, you know so once you take a handbrake for a pc so uh, you know downloads handbrake so handbrake open source uh, you know video transporter this is a this is a software which is available so here you have a handbrake you can uh, download this handbrake here uh, like 1.3 download handbrake so you just click here so after clicking 
you will have this file name and file size all this will come it is already getting downloaded the executive file of uh, the handbrake and once it is completely downloaded then you click on its executable file and then it will be getting installed so when you install handbrake this type of uh, you know its uh, icon will come on the desktop you click this uh, handbrake so this handbrake uh, will be uh, used for compressing the uh, video file so if you open uh, this uh, handbrake uh, software uh, it will just come on the screen how uh, it, it looks like so uh, in the handbrake what is required is you you will be required to place the uh, video and then you have to so you see this is the handbrake software you have to drop a file here or a folder even uh, to you know uh, so that you can compress it and once you put it here then you have, will have options coming uh, with that option if you uh, go and use then it's uh, you know uh, file will get reduced so this is the uh, software you can just for uh, example if uh, suppose you are trying to uh, give a video suppose one video is here so any video can be uh, you know suppose this video so this video can be uh, put in so you can drag and drop here so this uh, it, it has gone it has taken this file then it will come uh, you know this video is shown like it is a 40 second video then uh, you have to put in which format then uh, you know there are many things uh, which you will see while using the handbrake and then once we start and code then it will automatically it will uh, so on this uh, destination here on the destination once you start and code its uh, uh, compressed file will be uh, coming so this way you can use this software uh, you know uh, handbrake so that's uh, about uh, you know this uh, uh, huge of uh, so this is how you can uh, download uh, or you can procure the required softwares and the hardwares and we will in in the coming tutorials we will uh, try to uh, learn that how to uh, you know record our video lectures using obs uh, for a powerpoint presentation or when we try to uh, teach through the uh, you know uh, blackboard mode and uh, how to uh, further you uh, uh, compress the video and then finally how to you know uh, upload on the youtube channel uh, so that you can send it to the students thank you very much